up guys, it's Pep from Pep here and today we're gonna see the first of multiple uses that the new rewards Star Blast can have. So guys, really a broken card, amazing card. So I of course recommend to you to get 3 copies of this, really good. What it does, pay any number of life points in multiplies of 500, reduce the level of one monster in your hand or that you control for each 5 life points you paid until the end phase. Really good guys, the other one is not um, one of my interests, so guys keep focusing on Star Blast. The first version I'm gonna show you is you Ultra Athletes, UA Monsters guys, one of my favorite archetypes right here that finally I think it gets the piece that uh, the deck was missing to be Actually competitive in my opinion, Star Blast gets you have access to a free summon and uh, to, you know, unlock skill like Switcheroo. So guys, I'm not gonna show you uh, the way uh, to use Star Blast to abuse skills like Access Denied or Ojem Overflow. Uh, YouTube is uh, um, basically full of that uh, of those videos going on, you know, abusing those skills and of course keep in mind guys that Abusing Star Blast in that way will lead to, or in a, I hope not, I hope not, of course, but uh, to our two, we have two possible ways to end this. Or uh, we ha will have Star Blast banned, or maybe limited to one or two, or we'll have a change in the skill. So I hope if we really have to do something, I hope they, that Konami will change the skill but will not touch Star Blast because it really can be really good a uh, really good card so um star blast is good of course because uh will let you s will have to summon uh these big boys right here with no monster to tribute so we do not need to play cards like the the tricky as we did in the last you know if you remember if you have watched my uh previous ua videos in a, a couple of weeks ago so we do not need the tricky um we can have a pure Ultra Athletes, really good guys, and you will see how it's good in the replays. Of course, I'm gonna show you and uh, explain all the combos and the best way to use this deck. Let's go, guys! Here we go, guys. First replay, let's see what we have here. So, against a Dark Steiner, Kalin Kessler, if I'm not wrong, this was an Infernity deck. I'm not sure about that. Let's see. So, we have basically a good hand, of course, because we have also mm, uh, both an Ultra, uh, an, a new A Stadium and a Star Blast, as you will see. So, there you go. How to use it? Star Blast, pay your life points just the amount that you need to get a level 4 monster right here. And also, of course, we have access to um, our skills which rule next turn. So, what I did right here, of course, is to special summon my perfect taste so remember guys when you begin so when your when the first turn is yours you always want to have a perfect taste on your turn so that in your opponent's turn you get to negate one of the moves your opponent can make so it just but it turns out that he just had a couple of set i used my switcheroo that i gained thanks to star blast and then i went for the play of um, River Rebounder, so that I got a two monsters on the field, so an additional summon right here. I added the midfield, that, that is the main card. You know, you're you're only for level mo level four monster. Attacked for a two thousand, so really he's right here. He goes for the H grenade. I n I did not need to uh, negate it because I can just flip uh, just flip up my penalty box so I was also protected by attacks by the first attack it goes for the play but I had my negation my perfect taste negation no launcher nothing so it cannot do anything it just surrender really easy guys you know when you have a perfect taste your opponent is really in trouble second duel guys these uh, actually if I'm not wrong was a mirror match Let's see, guys. So, it was me to start. So, no, it was not a mirror match. So, uh, again, Star Blast in my hand. 
activate the effect to summon to normal summon a rebounder so I got the additional summon and the search with US Stadium so really good we have two monsters right here and I decided to add a midfielder and then I also got the boost here guys I actually made a mistake because I could have summoned my midfielder uh, special summoner of course returning my um, my uh, rebounder to the uh, to the hand and then in his next turn special summon him with the effect of midfielder so I got so I could have got all three monsters on the field so keep in mind that you want to special summon your rebounder in your opponent's turn to get the additional summon also in your opponent's turn it goes with the cyclon not a problem to me I, you know, preserved my negation and I did good because he activated the effect and now I use my negation so he just handed the turn, he cannot do anything, I also had my switcheroo and I got another US Stadium but he just surrendered because I stopped the most important combo. So guys, as you can see it's not so u so easy to use a um, UA deck because you need to know which move you have to stop, you have to negate thanks to your haste. So guys, keep in mind that you have to think on what you have to use your negation. So again, Star Blast and Rebounder. You remember guys, when you have a Rebounder in your hand plus a Star Blast is your ideal hand. I also got a perfect taste, so again, a perfect hand right here, Rebounder goes for the special additional summon thanks to its effect perfect we have an haze what I of course boost of stadium then here was the correct play to special summon on my midfield also because I can use its effect remember guys it's a quick effect to return a new a monster you control to special summon one other another from your hand keep in mind that so he uses Canadia and I could, I could chain my midfielder so that my ace got no cover set down and there you go, attack directly. Now in my opponent's draw phase, as you will see, I will use the effect of midfielder to have my perfect ace on the field so I can use my negation back again. There you go. This is the correct play. Also, of course, you get the babushed. And it just it just scooped because guys most of the decks cannot stand against the negation. Keep in mind that what we got here, Kellen Kessler, and this should be an Infernity deck. So I started as second right here. Yes, it was um, an Infernity deck. He started with two set and a set monster, so I had pretty bad hand right here as you can see. No summon for me. Keep in mind, that, guys, that this ends can happen, and if you do not want to break, just play uh, Labyrinth Builder with your uh, Paradox Brothers. It can be a really good skill, because and thanks to that, you will never break. So it goes for the play, of course. Uh, so it did not go for any um, an additional Synchro Summon, and it was fine to me, actually. He also triggered my um, my my skill, my switcheroo, so in the gate stadium I used switcheroo because I was hoping to get another UA stadium, IA, but I got a penalty box, even better maybe, so use the effect to summon Dunker, 2500 to the face and also an additional destroy of the card that actually was a bad one. Activate the effect of Necromancer, then go for the Super Synchro Summon of the boss monster, as you can see right here. Infantum Dragon is here, and of course, I'm gonna let you guys see the beautiful animation. I love the animation that Konami chooses, that Konami has made for us. Really good. It's kinda nice, Infantum Dragon. So he uses the effect to destroy my monsters because he's afraid of my uh, trap, then activates Infinity Launcher to bring back a couple of um, Necromancer just to defend but I top deck into a star blood I, I use my switcheroo 
to top deck actually, but I don't need it. I, I kinda, I remember I was throwing into a US Stadium, but I was wrong. So I go for the penalty box play. So I had, of course, with Ace, I was uh, safe for uh, his moves. Then here's the top deck. So I was one turn uh, before. We have US Stadium, then midfielder. Sorry, rebounder for the special summon of Dunker, and then Dunker can really hurt right here. I also summon a midfielder for the special summon in your opponent's turn. He summoned back an Avenger. Right here, guys, I made a mistake, as you will see in the second attack. I summoned, of course, I summoned my perfect ace. I made a mistake right here because I could have banished him, so, uh, you know... You do you do really do not want a, an Infernity Avenger in the uh, in the graveyard. Right here, the perfect place. Special summon rebounder in your opponent's turn, and get the additional summon. My opponent cannot do anything at all. Surrender. Here, guys. Here we go against Sedakai Basso, Blue Eyes player. Actually, a competitive deck. So you will see right here how UA performs against Blue Eyes. Again, guys, you will see that you will draw a lot, Sir Blast. It actually seems like Konami wants to have this card in your hand. So, um, a really good start for Blue Eyes. Card of Consonants plus a Stones means two cards, two draw cards, and a special summon of a um, Spirit Dragon. So, I went for the play, Star Blast, that. Let me special normal summon a rebounder, rebounder on someone with special summon another UA monster. He floodgated my rebounder, no problem for me at all. I got my search anyways. So of course you you always want to search first for your midfielder guys. So that you have a play for the next turn. It goes for Sage the Eyes of Blue, but I negated it thanks to the effect. He attacked, but I had my penalty box, such a powerful card, so no problem for me. Unfortunately, right here with my switcheroo, I draw back a new stadium. It will it actually happens a lot. So but it turns out that he had a Raigeki break. It goes for a maiden. The effect of penalty penalty box ended. I top deck into a treasures right good right here guys use the effect to special summon a blue eyes Who is this the skill to summon an alternative? but Right here guys. I use my treasures, but I did not target a maiden because otherwise He had activated the effect of maiden to special summon another blue eyes and I will be in trouble because blue eyes has 3000 attack I have 3000 life points and I would have lost. So I had to target my own monster so that he could not do anything. And right here guys, top deck midfielder, search for Mighty Slugger. You know guys, Mighty Slugger is unstoppable because when he attacks your opponent cannot activate anything. So no effect for Maiden and Lethal. Here we go guys, last but not least, a mirror match and he actually uh, started with better cards because as you will see he started with a new A stadium, there you go, here is stadium, midfielder, gets the search, search for a perfect ace, correct place for him and he goes for a, a perfect right here. I started with my midfielder, no US Stadium for me, I, I went for a perfect case too, and then I had my penalty box as a defense. He just had a couple of, of, of trap, and that is turn. Effect of midfielder, mighty slagger, so the best way right here guys was to not activate anything, nor monsters effect, nor trap cards, because otherwise he he could have activated the effect of perfect ace, so I used the effect of mighty slugger to special summon himself and then I first attacked so that my opponents cannot activate anything and then I went for the effect of penalty box Banish, no problem, then goes for, then I went for uh, the direct attack, used the effect of midfielder 
Special Summon Rebounder. And then he only has 600 life points right here. On my draw phase, activate the effect of middle fielder to have my negation ready, but it was smart and activated in response to the penalty box because otherwise I could have negated that. So what happens here is that he activate the effect of UA Stadium and summon of middle fielder, and I decided to negate because I knew he was going to search a mighty slagger, maybe to copy the same move that I made the, uh, the turn before. But what turns out is that he already had a mighty slagger in his hand, so he went for my same exact play as you can see right here. Of course, I could not chain my penalty box because it was a mighty slagger that was attacking. But right here, I have the the jewel in control. I know I achieved some of my rebounder to get the effect of midfielder to get my midfielder back. So to have you know another monster on the field, special summon mighty slugger, attack them with my attack with mighty slugger. Remember, guys, mighty slugger is so good because your opponent cannot even activate the effect of trap cards that are already face up on the field. So really, really good card, guys. So guys, I hope you enjoyed all the explanation. Feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, see you in the next one.